Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Today's episode is on Penn State quarterback Christian Hackenberg, and the play takes place at the one-yard line of Michigan State. And it's a play where we're going to get to see something that Christian Hackenberg has to do a better job of all around in his game, and that's show some anticipation and to show touch with the football. He's a big, strong quarterback with decent athletic ability who likes to fire the ball with velocity, and that's great, but he has to develop a mindset that he can throw the ball off speed sometimes and use anticipation more than velocity to win, because sometimes velocity is not the right choice. We're going to watch this play in regular time, and then we're going to break it down. All right, so one more time in real time. So we can break it all the way back here. All right. So what you have is a play action boot. Nice little play fake there. Gets to the top of his roll, and he extends the roll. This receiver is the man I'm circling, this tight end, working to the back corner. Hackenberg feels the need to have to work all the way around this pursuit, get his shoulders around, and fire the ball with the laser cannon throwing it a little bit behind the defender with velocity and it goes through the receiver's hands and sure the receiver probably should have caught this pass and the NFL might have caught this pass and it would have been a touchdown instead of a dropped ball but I'm going to contend that Hackenberg made this much harder than he needed to I'm going to show you why we're going to break this down in half time so this is the receiver he's going to be seen here number 81 and he's going to fight through some contact here at the line of scrimmage and get free right around the bottom of this end of Spartans and Hackenberg in the meantime watch this play nice play fake this is the nicest part of, of the play for Hackenberg here nice full extension of the arms head down shoulders down nice lean really selling that with his back to the defense that gives his players time to get downfield and it gives this receiver time to work free. Now we're at the top of this bootleg. He's at the top of his roll. At this point he should be able to see that he's got a receiver drifting behind these two defenders and I would say at this stage he should be lofting this ball and I would say in practice he should be focusing on lofting this ball in practice knowing that his receiver's right here and if he just floats it to the corner he's going to give his receiver room to run under it that's all he needs to do at this stage he's got a defender who's about three to four yards away he can loft this right now not have to deal with any pressure in his face and just let his receiver do his job instead he doesn't feel comfortable with that and he has to roll a little bit more feeling like he needs to get his hips around and fire the ball so that it burns a hole in his receivers chest so now he's turning here which means the defenders got his gap closed now we're gonna see this gap closed between the receiver and the trail coverage and still here this is a point where he still could have just lofted this ball if he had thought about it just two steps ago just two steps ago if he thinks about that I mean, he thinks about here, one, two, throw. If he could have thrown that ball instead, this would have been easy. Instead, he takes another four to five steps, throws the ball across his body, slightly inaccurate. It's good enough for a catch. It's a generally accurate throw and dropped. But you loft this ball and the receiver right here loft this ball and the receiver can just run under it and corral it see the difference to me that's the difference between a quarterback who makes his job easier for his teammates and a quarterback who makes the job harder because he doesn't think about really what's the most efficient way to get the job done he's not thinking ahead he's reacting 
I don't want a reactor in the red zone. I want someone who's anticipating. And this is a play that they've run enough that he should anticipate this should come open. And if he lofts it to the right spot, then nine times out of ten, the only player that's going to be able to catch it is the receiver because of the placement of the ball. And he's not going to have to deal with this pressure. And he's not going to have to deal with this defender. Now on this play, we're going to see Hackenberg learn from his mistakes in the same game later in the half and actually show some anticipation. And one of the things that I really like about this play is that he points out the pressure to his defense before the snap. He actually, he actually climbed to the line and pointed out the middle linebacker. Later he points out this outside linebacker and there's also outside pressure to the right. And what he's going to do on this play is actually loft a football with pressure in his face and just throw it to a spot for his receiver to run under and catch. It's a really nice play and it's one that he didn't do earlier in the game. You can see it here where he just lofts it under there and it's nicely done. So it's something that you'd like to see you know him get better at doing this on a regular basis because here's the play from before where he could have lofted it here and instead he lasers it in. Now here we are later in the half and while it's not a rollout you can still see him learn from that mistake and just put some air under the ball and let his receiver get it. This is the kind of work that gives people some encouragement about Christian Hackenberger because he's a guy with really nice tools but does he have the mental acumen to play the position at the highest level? There were two plays on this particular drive where he showed the ability to learn from mistakes that he made in previous drives. So I can understand why some people might be hopeful about him. Um, he's definitely one of the more intriguing prospects in this draft class at the quarterback position. Thanks again for listening. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. You can find more of my work at my blog at www.mattwaldmanrsp.com or my YouTube channel, The RSP Filmer.